I'm going to play this audio clip for you right quick. And then I'm going to explain to you like who you're looking at in the picture. Y'all already know who the other two women are on the right. But then I'm going to explain to who the uh, chick is on the left. But I want y'all to listen to this clip right quick. And it's going to pretty much put into perspective why many of us have been saying for so long and for many years that black women have no place in white women's feminism. I mean, absolutely none. Give my love out to my fellow, 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 the guys. <laughs> the nominees. And, and, you know, Serena and Venus, you are such marbles. However, you do not play against the guys. <laughs> Like I have to. <laughs> okay, so y'all just heard that right there. So, in case you don't know who this woman is, her name is Jane Campion, and she won an award for best director for this uh for this movie called something about power of the dog for a movie called power of the dog i've heard of it but i've never watched it and that last night they were at the critic choice awards and by the way i'm recording this video on march 14 2022 so just know when i say last night i'm talking about march 13th 2022 and she won she won an award for best director critics choice award and she made that comment right there when she was talking about you know when you know you know how when white women get up there and they accept the award they always have to talk about you know they have to throw a subtle feminist feminist or feminism slight you know dig or something in there you know just to you know make themselves feel good when they're winning where they're in a competition with ma mainly males first she gave a backhanded compl you know compl you know comment when she was saying i would like to fa thank my fellow well males she could have said fellow nominees like everybody else but she had to throw a dig at the men in the room so I already knew where, where this was headed when she started off with that. Then she segued into making it even more worse when she made that comment towards Venus and Serena Williams and basically saying, you know, y'all, you are such marvels, but you don't have to compete against the men like I do. You should have saw the look on Venus's face when she made that comment. Venus gave that look of, uh, what did she just say? And then she get, kind of gave that nervous laughter in response. Unlike her sister, Serena, who was clapping it up like the rest of the people in the room, like that was such a great thing in which she just said, in which it most definitely was not a compliment. See, this is why we have been saying for so long, and I'm reiterating what I said in the beginning, that black women, you have no spot in white women's feminist movement. Not then, not now, not ever. Like, if you didn't catch the subtle dig and the the hint of racism that she threw right there, and she didn't, I don't know why she felt the need in her speech that she had to bring up Venus and Serena. Two black women that happened to be in the room, and mind you, she says this while she's sitting, while they're sitting in front of her while she's accepting this award. It's not like they weren't even in the room. Not that I would uh, prefer that she did it. I wouldn't prefer she did it at all, but she did it anyway. Right there in the middle of the, in that room in front of everybody and thought that shit was funny. And so did everyone else in that room who clapped except for Venus. She was the only one that looked really uncomfortable because they put the camera on her after she said it. And like I said, Venus's face pretty much told it all. Because that my face was pretty much saying the same thing. I'm like, is she serious? And what does she mean? She's they've never had to compete against men. Tennis is a very PC dominated sport. And there are a lot of men that compete in that sport. Venus and Serena not only have to compete against PC men, but they also have to compete against PC women such as yourself, Jane Campion, even though you do not play tennis and probably have never ever lifted a tennis racket in your life. Not saying you have it, you haven't, but I'm just putting it, you know, this is how I'm feeling at the moment. And she tried to compare it to what she as a woman, because I can't even, you know, just I'm going to put that as a woman because she is a white woman, as a woman has to do when she's, you know, competing against men in the movie industry. The movie industry and the sports industry are two different things. But as black people, we have to compete almost in every pretty much every realm 
that is out there with the exception, of course, of basketball and football. And even then, we're still competing because there still aren't any NFL black NFL owners. There still aren't, with the exception of Michael Jordan, black NBA owners. So there's still a level of competition there. The only competition that we don't have is when it comes to on the court and on the field. But Venus and Serena have been competing in tennis since they were kids, since they were teenagers. That's a very long time. I would beg to say that might be longer than Jane Campion's career. At least we knew who they were and are before anyone really knew who a Jane Campion was. But of course, she issued an apology, which I will not read. Because I know it's filled with a bunch of fluff and, you know, I'm sorry, you know, she probably said it was taken out of context and everything like that. No, it was not taken out of context. She said that it was not taken out of context, if that's what she said. And no, your apology should not even be accepted. And like, like I said, it just blows my mind that there were people in there clapping and there were other black people, other black women besides Serena that was in there clapping like what she said was so enlightening and so profound. I didn't see anything funny in there and in, in that in what she said or anything worth applauding. Of course, you know, PC going to applaud it because they, you know, a lot of them laugh at flat jokes anyway. That a lot of them think some of the craziest shit is funny. So that doesn't surprise me. But she found a way in her acceptance speech to throw two black women who are two of the most recognizable tennis stars in the world, many will argue, under the bus for the sake of calling out, quote unquote, misogyny. If she wanted to call out misogyny, she could have left their names out of her mouth, but she didn't. Because what she said with mentioning them had nothing to do with her speech. She said, you know what? I compete against men all the time in this industry. And she could have left it right there, but she had to bring up Venus and Serena. As if they don't have something in tennis called mixed doubles or mixed matches or whatever that's called. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Where you'll have... Uh, you'll have a, a man and a woman compete against another man and a woman. They actually do have those matches. So for her to sit there and say she's never that that Venus and Serena have never competed against men is a lie because they have competed against men. Maybe not one on one, but two on two for sure. So Jane Campion put her whole goddamn nasty, crusty, dusty, toe jammed foot, fun god foot in her mouth. With that statement. And to the black woman out there, let this be a lesson. This white bitch is not your friend. And I'm not talking about just Jane Campion. I'm talking about the white bitch as a collective. It's interesting, though, that you have a lot of people and, you know, a lot a lot of black women, not all of them, that will say that black men don't like them, don't care for them, and, and say all this stuff about them. But you have this. PC home this a PC woman got up there and said what she said about two of your heroes because a lot of black women love the Williams sisters and some of you still wouldn't even uh, respond to that in kind at least not the way you should but you'll have smoke for your own all day every day I mean, it's just interesting to me. I guess the I guess along with the white man, I guess his woman's ice is colder, colder as well. But yeah, she had the nerve to get up there in on her acceptance speech and throw these two women under the bus that had nothing to do with her speech. And thought the shit was funny. You see how she's smiling in this picture? That's how she was up there laughing when she said and, and you listen, she has an accent. She has what sounds to me like, I don't know if that's a British or an Australian accent, but I can tell you she's not from here. So you have this across the pond bitch going throw two black American women under the bus for the sake of what she thought was funny. 
interesting, interesting, interesting. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you are new. Make sure you go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video or go live.